Buying a new smartphone can be really stressful. They range in price from $100 all the way up to more than $1,000. And it might be a little difficult for you to know what to look for, especially if you're not a techie like myself. I've reviewed hundreds of smartphones over the past decade, and here's a few things that I look for when I buy a new smartphone. One of the most important things when you're buying a new smartphone is to check out the display. I recommend, if you can afford it, buying a 1080p screen or sharper, all the way up to Quad HD, which you'll see in Samsung's newest smartphones. If you go anything below that, towards the regular HD or 720p as they call it, text might look a little blurry and it's not as high quality as what you'd get from a better screen. Most people love to complain about how bad their smartphone battery is, so make sure you're buying a smartphone with a big battery. Ask somebody in the cell phone store or look for information on MAH or milliamp hours and try to get the largest number possible. That's how big the battery is and you should be looking for one that's going to get you through a full day. Another thing you should look for is fast charging support. Most new Android phones support this and it allows you to juice up your phone from 0 to 50 or 80 percent or even 100 percent in minutes as opposed to hours and hours as has been in the case in the past. And finally, check out phones with wireless charging. This allows you to just drop it on a pad instead of plugging it in for quick juice ups wherever you are. Another thing you should look for is storage. Most phones these days come with 64, 128, or 256 gigs of storage, and that's good. But if you're buying a cheap phone, you might be limited to 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes, and that's not going to be enough for larger apps that are coming out these days. It's especially important if you want to store movies, music, and lots of photos if you're not keeping that stuff in the cloud. So make sure you're going with 64 gigs of storage or more. You know the old saying, the best camera is the one you have on you? That's usually a smartphone camera these days. So that's why it's important to look at how good it is on the new phone you're buying. I really recommend the latest cameras from Google, those are the Pixels, Samsung's Galaxy and Note devices, and Apple's iPhone products. There are other smartphones that are more affordable, but the camera is usually the place where everybody tries to cut costs. So if you want the best pictures, you should plan to spend a little bit more money. Knowing the age of a smartphone is really important, especially as refurbished phones, those are slightly used phones, are becoming more popular. If it's more than two to three years old, you're probably not going to get important software updates. That means you're not going to get new features that are issued by the manufacturer or security updates. Another really important thing to think about is a company's reputation. So who made the smartphone and what do people say about that manufacturer? So while you've heard of Samsung and Apple and LG and other established phone brands in the United States, if you're trying to save some money, maybe you'd hear of brands like OnePlus, Huawei, or Blue, spelled B-L-U. Those three companies have all come under fire for sharing private data back at headquarters, or even in the case of Huawei, that brand's not even recommended by U.S. intelligence agencies. So you might want to steer clear of some brands and stick to the ones you know. There are a couple things you might want to consider also that are kind of minor and kind of major depending on who you are. Like, does it have a headphone jack? A lot of smartphones are ditching that now, so if using your old headphones is important, maybe you should buy one from Samsung. They still have the headphone jack. That's a quick rundown of my tips for what you should look for when buying a new smartphone. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.